Scoobers on Facebook Live, but I am Kimberly Bookert of KimberlyLadors.com. And I wanted to come on and talk to you just a little bit as you saw the titles. Where do you think you need more focus or where do you <clears throat> see that you need to focus more in your life? So I love the likes and I love the hearts. So y'all keep them coming for me. I appreciate that. Um, but I really did want to take some time and be a little serious um, today because I had the superb opportunity to talk to someone earlier today about um, some things they were going through in a relationship. And I by far um, am a professional in that area, but I do have experience and I, I do believe that... Um, I was blessed in that area to be able to help someone else go through it as well. So, but I was thinking how, how we progress in this life and how God really wants us to be blessed in this life, not just in our everyday walk, our spiritual walks, but in our businesses, in our homes in our employment, even if we do work for other people. I mean, everybody's not built to be an entrepreneur and that's not everyone's desires. Some people um, find a fulfilling life working for others. And if that's for them, then, you know, that's great. But even in doing that, you can still be fulfilled and uh, meet your personal goals and your personal desires. So I was thinking, you know, three things that could probably benefit someone from beginning to find out what their goal is, what their purpose is. Um, and I, I don't take it lightly that I know my purpose. I really don't. And I am grateful to God that I'm able to operate in my purpose. And it's multifold, but I am able to operate in that purpose and impact others. And it's done on a consistent basis and constantly. So I'm grateful for that. But the first thing I would definitely say is take the time to get a journal or something like that. Um, something that you can write in. And if you know me, I, I like to write in my journals. Um, it's not as organized as um, some of your real journal writers are. But if you get, and I, I brought one out. Actually, I want to give this one to somebody. So... You all need to message. And at the end, I'm going to tell you something I want you to do. But get a journal. This was an inspirational journal with um, little scripture things on it on each page. Let me show them to you. Um, so you can kind of see there on each page. It has like little scriptures or little writings with in blank pages. But on the front of it, <clears throat> it says what we think we become. And so that's a big phrase that I use in my classes. Um when I'm instructing real estate, credit, finance, whatever, um, when I'm instructing, that's a big thing that I, I actually take time out to talk about because I, I learned it early on in life that if I process it, if I think it, meditate on it, that's what happens. So I, it's, it's cognitive that you're going to make the steps to do what's what you're thinking to become so i would say take the time um i don't know a good week or so for me i like to go and sit and watch airplanes um i like to go and sit and watch the water that gives me lots of time to think um find some place that's good for you where you can sit and think about what is it that you really enjoy money set aside put the money to the side for a minute. What is it that you really enjoy doing? What is it that you find yourself getting excited to do? Even if it's for free. What is it that you get excited to do and enjoy doing? What is it that you're able to do that impacts other that gives you excitement? Find that what it is. Write it down. Write down things that really, you know, trigger your heart. What pulls at your heartstrings? For me, it's kids eating, say what you want, 
if I see a kid eat, I mean, I can get teary eyed just because it because I've seen them where they've been hungry. I've seen kids where they have been starving. So when kids eat, it just gives me a joy. When I see someone um, become a homeowner, that's so exciting to me. I mean, genuinely exciting. That's like huge. There are generations of families that aren't able to purchase homes. And when someone's able to overcome all the self-doubt and the self-talk and the all the obstacles that can come with having a home, that's like huge. So that gives me great, great, great joy when people are able to do that. I love when people are able to actually start their own business and develop it. It's hard being a business owner. When your check has to come from you and you are the only one that is accountable to the money that comes in your house, I have done that for the last four years. And that's hard. It's not easy. Easy, easy, easy at all. So it's a lot of things that you have to think about. So I want you to take the time, get you a journal, take the time, write them down. Think about them. What are things that actually trigger you? Then once you have written those down, maybe you'll get a list of five or six things on there. I could go on with my list of things that really excite me. Um, but I was able to narrow them down to the top four um, that really excite me. So after you get your list, then I want you to take that list and narrow it down. What things do you think you can really implement? So take each one and on a clean sheet of paper, take that topic at the top of that paper and then go down. Hey, auntie. And then go down to it. Um, and write out the things that really implement or the things that you can implement under each one of those topics. So let's say if it's, um, starting a home, a home base, um, food network, you can say that, okay, so you want to do, you know, that's something that really triggers you is being able to help people develop their food plans or developing their, um, homeless people, you know, with food or something along those lines. So you'll go down that list and you'll start writing out ways that you can do that in your current position. So what you're actually doing right now, you want to develop those things there. Um, and I think my people on Periscope, um, you all can go over to, to the website. Well, I'll give you that information at the end. And then after you have developed those items, then you're going to take those those sheets that you've developed and written out, you know, how ways you can implement those or things that make you, um, the, the things that you wrote out on there, then you're going to break those down and put them in order of the ones that you can start implementing from the beginning. So that's kind of what I want you to do to start with. And then I'll come back on maybe next week and we'll expound on that some on there. Um, I want to make these videos not more than 10 minutes and I'm already 10 minutes in. Um, it looks like 9.58. Um, but I wanted to give you all an opportunity. Someone can win that journal. And I'll mail that out to them. You can go to my website, um, KimberlyLadoris.com. When you log into the site, you'll see a pop-up menu that says join our newsletter. All you have to do is register there. And I will draw a name from that register. And we'll send this out. And I'll draw it on Friday. So I'll give you all time that will give this video time to get out and for people to see it. Um, but yeah, and then and then on the page, if you like our page, you'll see that there's a post on there also. Tell me things that you're interested in learning more about, ways that I may be able to possibly help you, or I can bring on connections that can help you. Tomorrow night we'll be going live with Miranda Anderson um, in reference to mortgages. So that's going to be good. I've finally set myself down, not her. I re it's really been me um, to where we can actually take some time. And I'm going to dig deep with her in references to mortgages, um, the different mortgage programs, different ways that you can um, set up financing and stuff like that. So I am so excited for that. Um, I think we're going to come on about six or seven tomorrow. I'm not even exactly sure what time we'll get started, but I'm going to hound her tomorrow and we are excited to see um, the direction that we are going. Um, 
it's it's definitely exciting so i love you guys and i will talk to you all soon don't forget to go to the website and subscribe to the newsletter all right bye guys